not everybody will like you as an artist. You understand why I'm showing you? Because still in, within the society, we find a lot of small minds. You understand? Small-minded thinking. You understand why I'm showing you? When I say that, it's like, you born and grow in Grenada. You listen foreign music from your grow. But you find an artist, a local artist, as we will call it, because I, I don't really like to call Grenadian artists local artists. I mean, yeah, we are local because we are local when you say, all right, from this island, from the country. But artists in Grenada, you, 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 will, you will find an artist and you say, yo, I love Specky. You know, Specky bad. I love Specky music. You understand why I'm showing up? Yeah, boy, I love Looney Spock music. And that is how it's supposed to be. Boy, who, but I ain't find, I ain't find killer sing nothing too hard this year, but I ain't find killer sing nothing too hard this year. But I feel you're coming something good next year. There is, there is people like that. But then again, there is people like, boy, who, boy, I like, I like Specky real bad boy. I like Talpy real bad boy. Who kill a boy, kill a kill a good boy. This and that, 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 that is how we, naturally on the street. You understand why I'm showing you? And some people don't just say it like that. Some people actually hate you. You understand why I'm showing you? Because I'm a Talpy fan. So I don't like Specky. You understand why I'm showing you? And when I'm, I mean I mean I don't like Specky, I mean I don't like him, period. If I see him, I get upset. And there's people like that. You understand why I'm showing you? So then, the next man will say, yo, I is a Specky fan. And when I see Talpre, I get upset. When I see Baby Killer, I don't, I don't like him at all because I back in Talpre. And they take it too personal. When we did in New York, me and Talpre used to live the same house. You understand why I'm showing you? Every show we did together when we were out of the road. We was in Trinidad the other day every day, you understand, we're together. You catch what I'm showing you? It's a vibes. We move like brothers. You catch it? But you know as a fan, then you might take it way too far. No, just like the Movado and the cartel thing. You understand what I'm showing you? You understand what I'm showing you? The media make you popular. The media make you money. You catch what I'm showing you? In Jamaica, they learn that for years. They create wars. You know, because every time there is a war, every time there is a clash, the most among the records sell. None of them, none of I, I, I be in shows. You understand why I show you? I know cartel personally with my virgin. Right. You understand why I show you? Most of the time, they backstage in the same show, they never shoot one another yet. <laughs> you understand why I show you? But then, the youth man out the road will run down his brother and shoot him because he don't like Movado and this one don't like cartel and this one don't like this. You understand why I show you? Because they don't understand it. See, down and really think about it. Just the other day something happened. How easy, if I hate you so much, how come it was so easy for us to get back on stage again and shake hands and say, yo, you tell us stop that, you understand why I'm showing you? Then go after party and drink champagne and together. You understand why I'm showing you? Right. What is something about you that nobody knows, nobody else knows? Um, I, I went to New York and stuff. I mean, things didn't really go how we planned because, you know, we all think it's a bed of roses as the old people say. And outer road is not a bed of roses. Definitely not. You catch it. And the life take you and you live among people and when you're out there everything is money. And if you don't have that money to give, then it's bad vibes you're going to receive. Right. And then you know I start working along with some people and stuff, trying to make a little paper and thing as a youth man. All I wanted to do is record a couple songs and stuff like that, you understand? And that wasn't working out because when I work and thing, the men would just give me a little bit of paper at the end of the month, maybe $200, $300, you understand? I was doing electrical on the leather coat company down in um, Long Island and the server rungs about and thing. I did all the floodlights and stuff like that and they gave $300 at the end of the month and thing like that. I end up talking to some people and stuff like that, yeah, I catch it and I end up, anyways, to cut this story short, I end up in a basement by myself, a little basement. Hiding the truth away from my mother. When she called me, I would say, Yo, mommy, yeah, everything good and everything all right. And I would put on the phone and cry for hours and everything there, you catch it. And meet the wrong friends, you catch it, in the process, you know. So then I hit the street. The life turned different, you know, you get kind of hardcore, you catch it for a while, you understand? You do things that you don't want to do, you do things that you're not supposed to do, you understand what I'm showing you? I mean, sometimes you feel ashamed to pray. You understand why I'm showing you? Because you might go out the road and you start to lose that love that you grow with, that your mother taught you, that your mother teach you. You understand why I'm showing you? Because nobody is showing you that love. I get frustrated to the point whereby it's like, at the time, I feel like, yo, I, like I'm ready to go. It's like, Father, you can take me anytime. You understand? Because it's like I work nothing here and stuff like that. And music actually saved my life. The father, 
life is so funny that somebody that have 50 something years could receive a knife or a fork since they was 13. Them time I ain't born yet, but that knife and fork that they got when they was 13 since before I was born is for me in the future. That is how life is. And the father make that person sing that song for me. When I get so frustrated and feel like I want nothing and you understand, I never know what would have happened because them time I go out I would be careless. You understand why it's showing you? You could get shot down, you could get because you're in the wrong crowd. You understand them time they used to be down 20 seconds, you could come fast and things that boom, down my Jamaican bridge and you understand why it's showing you in the wrong crowd. And one day when I cleaned out downstairs, them time they had cassettes, you know, and I pushed a cassette to the tape while I, while I sweeping out and thing, and the music playing. But then, halfway through the cassette, a song started playing. And that song is my favorite song up to this day. And I, and I look for the song, and anybody that see this interview and you know the song and you have this song on tape, I would love to have it, please. Find me where, however you can. You understand? I would love to have it. Because I never get a tape. I never get that song again after I left New York. And it's a simple song. Hear what the song The song is like this. If I was blind and I can't see the flowers blooming in the garden, I was dumb and I can't say anything I wanted to say. I was deaf and I can't hear anything I wanted to hear. I was creeping and I can't go anywhere I wanted to go. But if you can see and if you can talk, if you can hear and if you can walk, you should be grateful to the Father for what He has done. You should be grateful to the Father for what He has done. Simple tune, you know, but then you catch me attention. You catch it because he's simply telling you that you have people that born deaf, dumb, creeple, some blind, unfortunate, Africa, malnutrition, people dying every day, children eating from the dump, and our dogs and cats daily eat better than some people. You catch it? So what I'm so frustrated about? You catch it? It's like the, it's about the story with the man and the banana climb the tree to die, to, to hang himself and eat a banana. The last thing I go eat is a banana and chew the skin. And a man under the tree pick up the skin and start eating it. And then the man on top of the tree now say, what? I just chew the skin and I want to kill myself and he eating the skin and he don't want to kill himself yet. He still ain't giving up. You understand why I'm showing you so? You have people worse than me. And I learned that from that song. I sit down and I cry and I think again and I pull myself together, you catch it? And then fight up the wire for the record, two songs and I came back home and get back in and, and get into music. Then bust a song named Go Have Alone and then after that the wood can done came along. You understand why I show you now? And I hit it from there. My mother is a deep spiritual woman. Spiritual not on just this level that we understand but spiritual further than I could understand. You understand? And if we study with history carefully, then we realize that the black man is a powerful man naturally. The black man is, is deeper than the deepest ocean. You understand why I'm showing you? The, the black man is stronger than the toughest ox. You catch it? And we stream from, from Africa to come here. And if you look at Mother Africa, if you study Mother Africa, there is so much that we can learn daily. And if you come from there, Mother Africa, you cannot come from a spiritual place and don't have something spiritual about you unless you lost yourself. And then my mother is a spiritual woman. She whole life, I mean, she's a reverend minister. You understand why I'm showing you? She's a reverend minister. She grew me up within spirituality. You understand? I mean, I've been, I'm a professional African hand drummer. You catch it? Been beating, been drumming from, a, from the age of five. You know, come up and so I, I grew within a spiritual womb, you understand? And then I started studying it for some years. So then I understand where I come from. I try my best to understand who I am, 
you understand why showing you and my capabilities as, as a man so then daily from school they teach you about eating properly so your body could keep healthy they're telling you read a lot study go to school so your mental could grow properly enough time they never really teach us much you understand why i'm showing you about the spiritual you understand the teacher make us pray in the morning pray in the evening but she never tell me pray before i go to bed you understand they never really tell me make sure you pray in the morning again before you come to school they never tell me pray anytime i get a chance to pray but i eat anytime i get a time a chance to eat so my physical could work good I read anytime you get a chance to read, so your mental could work good. But then you should pray anytime you get a chance to. So then your spiritual could work good. Because they teach you that we we are three people in one. We are mental, physical, and spiritual. And anytime you could work with three of them, anytime three of them are healthy, you're stronger than every ox. You understand why I'm showing you? Nothing can kill you but God. Get it, and that is my feet, and that is how I grow. You understand why I'm showing you? Because then again, that is only one thing. That is like sleep. It's a cousin to sleep. You understand? Because this could only go to sleep because this is a transportation, and that is my feet. We're not supposed to fear a death. You catch it? That is just a transportation, and that is my belief because your soul is greater than this. Some people say, oh, we don't have this thing they call spirit or soul, or this or that, and spirituality is that or that. There is energy. What, what is God? You understand? You ever think about that? What is God? We believe in God every day. No people believe in God. We ever seen him? No. We believe by faith. God controls this whole universe. He is the energy. He is right there every minute. He's right there every hour, every second. You understand why I show you know? And and he could be with you and with me and with everybody else because we are part of him. We are this energy link. You understand? It's like current running through a, a, a wire. This neutrons, this protons, the electrons, everything. You understand why I'm showing you within that link. You understand why I'm showing you creating that link. And within that link, there is not a weak link. Right now, you know, with the carnival season coming and stuff like that, and I have one advice for all the youths out there. You don't make sense going out the road and fight against your brother and end up in jail. You understand why I'm showing you violence don't make sense sometimes. I always say, like I have a tune, we go like, I defend myself, but I don't look for what. I never tell you don't defend yourself. You understand? Your life is important. Your life before a next man. And that is how it is. You catch it. But don't go on the road and look for war, man. It don't make sense. You understand why it's showing you? Leave the cutlass home. Leave the guns home. Leave the knife home. You understand? Because it really don't make sense. You understand? Positivity. At the end of the day, go make money and give mama some. You understand why I'm showing you? That is important. I learn to give and one day you will receive. You understand why I'm showing you? And if you give love, you receive love. And if you give eat, eat you go and get. You understand why I'm showing you? I love you guys, right? Bless up and bless up to my mother and my father and my whole family, my sister and my brother. Big up to my dancers, you understand? I was telling you, big up to FIBA, big up to Dutch production, big up to everybody. One love to you, you understand why I'm showing a Grenada? Boom, take it away.